Hi, it's John here from the Professional Nail School and Beauty Academy. Today we're going to look at these ProPress um, soft gel nails. And this is a great way for you to get into doing extensions. Even if you've never done nails before, they're nice and very sim nice and easy to do. And um, today we're going to be using these um, almond shaped tips, which, um, which is these here. And this is like um, what we're calling the ProPress Revolution. And these are made by the Manicure Company. And you can get these from capitalhairandbeauty.co.uk. So let's get on with it. Right, so we've got a volunteer today who we're going to do these nails on. So um, here we can see the nails and we can see they are nice and healthy. We've done our uh, consultation and we're just going to now prep these nails. So the first thing we need to do is to just sanitize the hand. So let's turn that over and just rub that in. Make sure you do your own hands, obviously. And we're going to sanitize our file, our block. our dusting brush and then we're going to start the nail prep so the first thing we have to do is just shape the nails at the front these are already done so we don't need to do anything with these but if you are going to shape nails just make sure that you are filing from what that direction and then from that direction and then get rid of any little bits that may be underneath the nails like that. Next thing to do is push back the cuticles and we can see here that these cuticles are in very good condition there's really nothing to do on them but if there was we'd push back bring it forward again if there's any loose skin and then clip off any excess cuticle. So let's just push back all these cuticles we are going to be stopping and starting the filming because obviously we're not going to go all the way through on every single operation. Right, the next thing to do after you've done the cuticles is to prep the nails. So the nail prep is probably the most important part and I'm going to use an electric file here as you can see here. So We've got two kinds of bits here. We've got, we're going to use, we might need to use that one, which is a diamond bit. But in, in the case here, we really don't need the diamond bit, but I'll just show you what it's for. So we just pop that onto there. Start it up. Now don't run it fast. Get it right down onto a slow speed. And basically all we're going to do is just go around the back like this just to remove any protein growth that's on the nail and come down the side you can get up that side and we're just going to remove any skin that may be on the nail plate now skin does grow all over the nail plate so we need to be very careful that we remove all traces of skin off the nail plate so now i'm going to put this fine sanding band on and this is um, a 180 grit or above switch it on again again we're not going to run it fast like this we're going to take it nice and slow because we don't want to damage our clients nails so basically all we're going to do is go around the back like this and you can see there's no damage to the nail because we're just going nice and slow with the speed and we're going to remove all traces of skin off the nail plate so we just go like this I'm not applying any pressure whatsoever because I don't want to damage these nails. We're not trying to make them thin. And we're just removing the surface shine, which is where the skin layer is growing all over the nails. So you can see this doesn't take long to do. Just go up that, you can only go up that way. You can't go down the nail. Otherwise, you can't go that way. You've got to go that way. 
because of the rotation of the head. So we're just going to take all the shine off, as you can see. And you get this like dull finish on the nails. So as you can see, this doesn't take long to do. Now, if you are coming on this course, what I recommend you do is that you include the electric file on the same day. So you get your certificate for that as well, which means you include it on your insurance. Because you do need that. And if you do it on the same day as this your extension course, you're going to get the electric file certificate for just £40. When normally, if you did it as a, on a standalone day, it would be £95. So it makes sense to do it on the same day. We also um, now have partners, we've partnered with Kalana and clear pay so if you can't afford to spend it all in one go you can actually now spread your cost over three payments with Kalana or clear pay and that's an interest free so you're not paying any more than the actual cost of the course or you can just pay it all at once so now i've done that i'm going to switch this off i'm just going to just Dust those off. And then I'm going to dehydrate them and I'm just going to use acetone. This is pure acetone and this is going to dehydrate the nail plates. So I'm just going to go over them like this. And as it dries out, it will suck moisture from the nail plates. Wiping it will take off any grease that's there. And that's called dehydrating the nail plates. <clears throat> now the next stage is to actually select your tips. So I'm just going to show you how you select a tip and then I'm going to stop the video and then we're going to, I'll come back when we've sorted all that out. So basically, you just got to bring a tip up to the nail and have a look, does it fit either side? And that's how it's going to go on like that. So once you've selected all your tips, you can just line them up alongside and then I'll show you what next to do. Right, so I've got all my uh, sizes sorted. So I'm just going to get my electric file now. And I'm just going to etch the inside of the, of the tips, like that. So you just go along and do all those. Now I did see one manufacturer that has actually got them pre-etched. But in four, and that was um, the gel bottle. But unfortunately, they're not selling at the moment. I don't know if they are going to do it. The replacement it refill packets for your tips. So you're going to probably use lots of fives, sixes, and sevens, and then you'll find that you can't buy the re refill packs. So that will mean that you, you, you're you gonna just waste all the rest because you'll just not use them uh, because you need to buy a whole new box just to get those five, sixes and sevens again. Um, so that's not very good really. Um, Let's hope they maybe decide sometime in the future to actually do those. But these Pro Press tips that we're using today, you can actually buy the refill packs. So when you run out of a certain size, it's really simple. You just go along to the warehouse and buy a new 
a, a pack of tips for the ones that you've got missing. Etching it on the inside like this does help them stick better onto the nails. So I've done all those now. So I'm just going to dust off any dust from the inside of those so that we're not putting the products on top of dust. And I suppose if you had time, you could actually go through all that box and just do this when you've got some downtime, when you've got nobody in. You could just go through all your box and just do this. The uh, etching of the nail tips in advance of your customers coming in. Right, so as I said, we've prepped all our nails and we've actually made sure that um, the, they've been uh, dehydrated. And I'm just going to get a protein bond on here, which is a pH bond. And I'm just going, this is from the manicure company. And I'm just going to go over the nails like this. And this is just going to help them attach to the nail plates. So there we are. So obviously we do that on both hands. I'm going to be using this Glitter Bells Builder Gel, um, which to do this job. So basically, we also need our little lamp. As you can see, here it is. It's a little gooseneck lamp. I'm going to just put that to one side. It might just be out of shot. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Right, okay. So, so when you switch it on, on the press button, it come, the light comes on. It should do. <laughs> Come on, light. There it is. The light comes on, and that we're going to use that to parkour the actual tips when we put them onto the nails. So, right. So I'm just going to wait for that to to go off. Right. So basically, what I'm going to do is give me a hand back here. Right. So. This one is going on here. So you make sure that it is going to fit inside. You, you will have pre pre done that. So basically what I'm going to do now is first of all, put just a base coat layer onto the nails. Just a thin layer onto the nails, like so. Wiggle it around, and I want to work that into that surface, which is slightly roughened because we use the electric file, or we may have used the hand file. But we want to work it into the surface so we are actually getting down into the actual surface of the nail. There we are. When you come to do the thumb, lift the hand off the table so it doesn't pick any bits up off the paper. Because you don't want the sticky nails resting on the table. 
Just make sure there's none on the skin before you proceed any further. And then we're going to put those into the lamp now for 60 seconds. When you put your finger in the lamp, just hold your thumb up slightly like that so we can get it. So there's a lamp over here, so just pop those into there and then pop those in for 60 seconds. Right, so um, we've now cured the base coat for 60 seconds in the lamp and we're going to start sticking the tips on now. So we get the tip, we get our builder gel and we go on the inside of here part way down And then what you need to do when you've done that is just scrape off a bit of gel like this into the end there like that. And it's a good idea to switch your lamp on before you start doing it. So then we just get here. Now what we're going to do now is just line that up there. And then as I roll forwards, you'll see the gel moving down to the end of the nail. Now we're going to hold that under the lamp. So the light goes off. And what it's going to do is actually set it onto the nail plate. And we'll get the next one. So we'll do exactly the same again with our build gel on the inside like this. Then just scrape a little blob off, not too much, because if you do it too much, what's going to happen is you're going to have too much gel under there. Switch your lamp on. Line it up. Make sure you get it right to the back. As you roll forwards, you'll see the gel moving towards the front of the nail. Get right down and then just hold it under your lamp like this. What that's doing now is it's part curing it so you can let go of it and air doesn't creep back in. Next one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop those, I'm going to do the thumb in a second, I'm going to pop those into the uh, other lamp for a full cure of 90 seconds. So they're all stuck on now and what I'm going to do is get my electric file with my carbide or ceramic bit on. I'm just going to bring the speed up very, very slightly and then I'm just going to go just thin them down a little bit at the back, like this. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I found that if you do it, it's just better, really.
I just think they just sit better when you come to put your gel polish on. When you've done that, put your sanding band back on and just take all the shine off all the tip. Now if you're going to do any reshaping or shortening, what I suggest you do is that you take the shine off the tip first and then alter your shade because at least you can see the tip then. Whereas while it's sort of like see-through, it's more difficult to see what you're doing. I'm not scrubbing with this, in other words, going backwards and forwards. I'm just using it on the forward stroke so that I'm not building up friction on top of the nail, which can cause a bit of a heat spike. So I'm only filing in one direction, lifting it off every time I make a, a filing stroke. And then continue on to the other hand. So we've now got all the um, nails on and all we've got to do now is just apply our gel polish. So I've applied the base coat over the top and I'm just putting this gel polish on. I'm using um, What brand is this one? Oh, it's a Premier Gel one, this is. PremierGel.com Which is a really nice gel. Now you go along all four fingers, or if you want to, you can also just freeze them in place by putting them into the lamp for um, about 10 seconds, and then you can carry on with the rest. It stops it running down into the sides and so on. Um, or you can just carry along and do all your four nails. And then do your thumbs separate. Just watch it's not running down into the sides.
of course surface on the top of the actual pro press nails is perfect for gel polish now after after uh, two or three weeks and your client comes back in, they will have grown out. The idea is to soak them all off and start again. But you can file off your gel polish back to the tip underneath. And then if you want to, you could infill the back after you've done the nail prep on the new nail, exposed, new exposed natural nail. And then just do, with Biab, just do an infill at the back. There you go. Okay, let's have that and back. So there's that there. So I'm going to go along with now with my second coat. So I've got two coats of um, colour on now. So I'm going to apply my top coat. This is a no white top coat. And then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Right, that now just goes into the lamp for 60 seconds. There you go. And then you carry on with the other hand. Now we've got all our top coat on. The last thing to do is just go around all the edges with some cuticle oil. What tends to happen is that the alcohols that we use dry up the skin and make you know it can make it look a little bit white sometimes in the in the uh, where the acetone or stuff has kind of like dried all the skin up. So I'll just rub that in like that without touching the actual nail surface so I don't smear it. Don't worry, you just get a nice set of nails. So this is John here from the uh, Professional Nail School and Beauty Academy, signing out for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.